evening everyone, how are you? I hope you've all had a great day and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea or if you're new, a very warm welcome to you also. Well, this was the winner of the wee poll that I put up a few days ago. I asked what you wanted to see next and this is the one that's got the most votes. So this is going to be the creamy carbonara sauce with whatever pasta you like really. The fern cakes were a close second but they didn't quite make it so I'll certainly be doing those when I get back from London. Yep so this is the carbonara recipe. It's super simple, one of the easiest things you can make. You know it's absolutely foolproof and it's ready in a flash. The pasta that I'm using is fresh pasta and it only takes four or five minutes to make. But if you're using, you, you know, just bog standard dry pasta, it will take a wee bit longer, but only by a few minutes. But like I said, you could use any pasta that you want. So this is what I'm using. And I've also listed the ingredients and their weights in the description box down below as usual. So the first thing I've got there is two egg yolks. You know, just separate the whites from the yolks. You want, you're you not gonna need the whites in this, so you might want to use them for something else. So two egg yolks. I've also got three cloves of garlic. I've just finely sliced mine, but you could obviously chop yours if you prefer. I've got 220 ml of single cream. I've got 300 grams of sliced mushrooms. Again, you can dice your mushrooms if you prefer. I've got 600 grams of uh, penny pasta. I just allow 200 grams per person. So if it's for more people, you just sort of add a wee bit more if you like. Or if it's for less, just take 200 grams off. I've also got 200 grams of grated parmesan. You could use parmesan or you can use pecorino. Either one is fine in this recipe. And I've also got 300 grams of diced ham. Now this is just cooked ham. It's left over from something else, but ideally, you would be using bacon or pancetta, but you'd be using it from raw. So I'll explain that when we get there, but I'm using cooked ham. So mine's is going to be a lot quicker. Yep. So if you're using raw bacon or raw pancetta, I'll explain when we go over to the cooker, what you would do then. You're also going to need a pinch of nutmeg, which is less than half a teaspoon. It's just a wee pinch. And we'll also need some olive oil for cooking your mushrooms and your garlic and your ham. Like I said, I'm using this fresh penny, so it's only going to take not, not even five minutes. It's really quick. Or you could use any pasta. Sometimes I use this spiral pasta. Traditionally, it would be spaghetti you would be using. So this is my spaghetti here, or something like a tagliatelle or a linguine. So I was going to be using linguine, but I changed my mind and decided to use the fresh pasta because we had a bag in the fridge that was needing used. Otherwise, I would have used this linguine. It's like spaghetti, but it's just flatter, really. So go over to your cooker and you need two pans. In the large pan, you're going to want to boil some water and pop in some salt. This is the pan for your pasta. Just let that simmer away in the meantime. And we're going to start the sauce. So on a medium heat, you want to pop in some olive oil into your pan and bring that up to heat. And then you're going to throw your mushrooms in. Now, if you're using pancetta or bacon, you would be adding that first. And once it's sort of nearly cooked, then you would pop your mushrooms in. But because I'm using cooked ham, I just pop mine in at the end. Now, round about this time, you want to get your pasta on and add a wee bit of oil to your pasta. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I always think it helps it from sticking together. <laughs> and then you want to pop in your garlic when your mushrooms are just about ready. So fry your mushrooms and your garlic for another couple of minutes, just until your garlic is starting to color. And then I'm just going to pop my ham in because like I said, this is cooked. So I just want to warm this through. It's just some ham I had in the fridge left over from something else. So that's why I'm using this ham and not bacon, because I, I would usually use bacon. So you can set that to the side, that's done. So into a bowl you want to pop your cream, then your egg yolks. These are just large egg yolks. And then whatever cheese you've decided to use, whether it's the parmesan or the pecorino and a wee pinch of nutmeg on top of that. 
and you just want to give this a good stir through just to combine everything. And that's that done. Like I said, it's super simple, but it's really, really tasty. So by now, your pasta should be ready. Or mine's was, you don't want it super soft. You want it, you know, al dente, which means there's still a wee bit of bite in it. So once your pasta's ready, you want to remove a wee bit of your water. This is going to help with your sauce. You won't need much, just a few tablespoons will do. And then drain your pasta and pop it onto a low to medium heat. You don't want it too high. You don't want your egg yolks to scramble. <laughs> then pop in your mushrooms and your ham and your garlic from earlier. Give it a wee gentle stir round just to coat your pasta. And then you can add in a few tablespoons of your sauce, sorry, your water. If you like a really saucy sauce, you can add in more water. And then you can add in your cream and your yolks and your nutmeg and your cheese. And just stir that through very gently, just to coat all your pasta and warm it through. And once it's warmed through and piping hot, that's you done. Delicious and absolutely perfect. It tasted phenomenal. So all you have to do now is pop it into your plate. So that's the pasta carbonara. And we just like to be a bit of cracked black pepper and some more of that beautiful cheese on the top. Now this is lovely on its own, but we did have um, crusty warm bread, which is already on the table, so I couldn't, I didn't want to go and bring it back through. So warm crusty bread with butter or some garlic bread or even a wee side salad, something like that. And it's beautiful and light and mega tasty, but so, so rich. Absolutely wonderful. Like I said, super easy to make, very quick to make as well. Perfect as a midweek tea for the family. Like I said, there are only three of us. So yeah, so that's what I do for three people. So, But like I said, if it's for more, just add some more pasta. And then when you're making your sauce, just add a wee bit more of the pasta water and your sauce will spin out a wee bit more. So yep, so that was it. So thank you very much again, guys, for popping over and seeing what's going on and checking out my wee recipe and if you do decide to make it mean to drop me a wee line in the comments and let me know because I like to know how many people are actually doing it and, and what you thought of it and how you got on all that kind of thing there's not going to be a shopping haul because we're going away for a few days so there's not going to be as much shopping so there's not really much point <laughs> I'm going to probably get in half as much as I usually get so I'll leave the shopping haul for this week and like I said we are away to London um, in a, a couple of days so I'll be sure to catch as much footage as I can you know with the room and the hotel and the meals that we have there and you'll also see some of the meals obviously in meals of the week on Sunday so I'll be back for that so until I see you next guys mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon so bye for now bye now